What's good YouTube, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul and welcome to another remake video. Today we'll be remaking Drake's track Tusa Slide, so let's get straight to it. First things first, let's go ahead and change our tempo to 163 beats per minute. We're going to start off with that main sound that we hear for the most part throughout the record. Um, now what we're going to do here is just going to create an 8 bar pattern because the patterns are 8 bars in length. And for this first sound, we're going to go ahead and go to Synthesizer pad and we are going to go to a preset called analog waves and this is the preset right here it's a patch with some delay on it but we're going to go ahead and just uh, draw the pattern in and change the sound afterwards let's change this all to eights all right so let's go ahead and start off with the first note <laughs> Let's continue on working on the next four bars. Just zoom on in here. And then we get something crazy happening at this part. It's going to go something like. Like this. And it's just going to work its way down the scale. And this note just drags out. So here is the pattern right over there. All right, this sound is fairly close to begin with, but let's go ahead and just take off the delays. We don't want that. And let's go ahead and open up the ES2. And what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna pull up the analog a bit. And then we're going to go ahead and maybe pull down the cutoff a bit. Let's see. I think we'll just leave it like that. That's fine. I'm going to pull in some distortion. Maybe add in a little bit of drive. But I'm going to go ahead and pull down the release. do something like that maybe we'll pull in some chorus as well and I'll pull in some of the sign level as well just fill that out a bit all right so there is our sound for the most part right over there next let's go ahead and just open up 
uh, the EQ here. I'm going to take a little bit of the low end out. All right, so there's the main sound pretty much right there. Uh, we're going to leave that as is for now. We're going to go ahead and create a new software instrument track. And uh, let's go ahead and draw in the chords. For this sound, is actually going to be a very simple sound. We're going to go to Logic's ES2 synthesizer. We're just going to work with the default settings that load up. So a bunch of saw waves. And uh, let's go ahead and just draw in that chord over here. this a bit so it's not going to drive us crazy. So there's the pad pattern right there. All right, next, let's go ahead and make this sound a lot better. We're going to open up Logic's ES2. And, um, and what we're going to do here is we're going to pull up the detune again or the analog knob. I'm going to pull back the cutoff a little bit. Add some chorus. I'm going to pull up the attack so it's not so plucky. Maybe I'll bring the release up a little bit. Pull up a little bit of drive. All right, so there is the sound right there. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and open up an EQ. We're gonna cut a lot of the top end off. And let's go ahead and cut out some of the bottom end. All right, something like that is okay. Next, let's go over and bring a little bit of distortion just to make this sound a little bit thicker. All right, that sounds good like that. And then let's go to modulation tremolo. And we're just gonna make this vibe out a little bit, give it a little bit of a wave to it. Very subtle effect in the two together. All right, next let's go ahead and uh, create a new software instrument track. We're gonna layer up this pad sound. We're gonna duplicate this down. We're gonna go over to our browser tool over here. We're gonna go to synthesizer, pad, and we're gonna go down to a preset called uh, Cosmic Accent. It's just gonna give us some like, um, some atmospheric sounds here. And we're just gonna layer it up with this guy here.
All right, so the next thing that we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and duplicate this pad sound. We're gonna go ahead and duplicate that up. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and use the same sound minus the tremolo effect. And uh, we're just gonna draw in a bass line here. And it's just gonna go something like this. Just gonna pitch that to a lower octave. And I'm just gonna pull back the bass here and I'm gonna cut a little bit more of the highs. I'm gonna turn on mono as well. All right, now it's coming, uh, starting to come together. Next thing that we're going to do here is we're going to duplicate this pad track once again. We're going to copy down the same MIDI pattern and we're going to reverse some parts of it to get like that pulling effect that you hear in the song itself. But first we got to mani manipulate the MIDI first so that we can get the proper build, if you will, when we reverse. So what we're going to do right here is we're just going to go ahead and shorten up the chords. We're going to shorten that one down. We'll shorten this one down. Shorten that one down. We're going to shorten this as well. We'll shorten this one and we'll shorten this one. But what we're going to do before we bounce down this, we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to make sure that we have a long enough tail so that the reverse can ring out. So let's see how long we can get this. So we, when this hits, we want it to sort of drop out right before the next one. So that drops out too quick. Let's pull up the, the release time. Okay, so that's a little bit too long. That's pretty good, I would say. Next, all we got to do is control B and we're going to bounce this in place. And that gives us a audio region right here. Actually, let's go back, delete this. I'm going to go ahead and make this a loud volume or bring up the volume so we get a nice loud region. Let's bounce that in place once again. Uh, let's move this down. We can mute that. We don't need it anymore. Here's our recorded, uh, sorry, our bounce down version of those chords. So now all we got to do is just chop it up on the chords itself. And then we can go ahead and select all of that and go to our inspector tab over here, click reverse, and that's going to reverse that. All right, so for this sound, we're going to open up an EQ and we're going to take out a lot of the top end as well. I'm going to go ahead and take out this chord. I think it causes a little bit too much commotion there. All right, so there's pretty much our intro bit. Next, let's go ahead and just duplicate all this over. And uh, we're going to go over here. We're going to create a new software instrument track. And we're gonna go ahead and put in the drums. Uh, let's go to Logic's EXS24 sampler instrument. And we're going to bring in the Tussy Slide drum kit, make it nice and loud. And uh, let's go ahead and start off with our snares. Let's go ahead and draw that in. <laughs> I think the first one is here. And that just repeats itself. All 
right next, let's go duplicate that track and let's go ahead and draw in our hi-hats. We're gonna go ahead and brush these in. Eighth notes, just straight hits like that. Except at the end right here, we're gonna go ahead and draw in a Let's try a 16th triplet. I think that should be okay because we're at a fast tempo. All right, that's good. Next, let's go ahead and just delete all this and just repeat that. That just repeats itself. On the EQ, I'm just gonna take out a little bit of that click at the top part of it, or sorry, the low end of it. Just like that. And I'm going to add in a little bit of reverb as well. Let's go to Logic Space Designer. Just a little bit. All right, let's go ahead and duplicate that track. And let's take off the EQ and the Space Designer. And let's go ahead and draw in our 808. But first, let's change this over to mono so that it's not in the way of anything. There it is right there. But let's go ahead and change this up to 8s. So I'm bring up the volume on this. duplicate this over all right so there is the uh, remake right there I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly arrange it balance the levels a bit and we're gonna come right back all right so we are back I just quickly arranged the track for the most part, I think halfway through the song I stop, but that's just a quick arrangement. You get the idea. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Listen to the rig we just put together, Drake's Tussie Slide. Let's go. <laughs> So that is Drake's Tussie Slide right over there for your Logic users out there. I'm gonna go ahead and save this entire session for you guys. Place it as a downloadable link in the description box below this video. For your non-Logic users out there, got your back as well. I'm gonna go and export all the MIDI stems, audio stems, and of course include the drum kit that you heard in this tutorial. You can find uh, both those play packs in the description box below this video. If you do have any questions on this or just want to chat, let's go ahead and talk in the comment section below. As you may have heard from my previous video, I will be giving away a Native Instruments S Complete Control S49 keyboard. So the one right behind me over there, or I will be giving away a Native Instruments Machine MK3, which I'm trying to pull up right now. 
or the Machine MK3. The choice is yours. I'll be giving uh, either one of these away or one of those away. So be sure to go ahead and follow me on Instagram at I'm a Music Mogul. And I will be posting a post there where you'll have to comment and then I'll pick a winner from there. So that's it for me, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, remember thumbs up and share it. And of course, hit that subscribe button for more good videos like this one. I'll talk to y'all soon. Later. Peace.